Hello everyone. Today we have Priyam with us sharing his interview experience for Intel. Priyam is a student of ME Microelectronics in Bits Bilani. So let's get started. Um so okay hi everyone. Uh, I'm Priyam Upadhyay from Microelectronics discipline. Uh, currently pursuing from Bits Pilani, and uh, I'm here to share my experience on Intel Intel's interview. Uh, how was their recruitment procedure? What all questions they asked? What all they expect from the students and all? Uh, first of all, uh, this year's year has been unique uh, due to this pandemic situation. All the processes were uh, sort of uh, done in an online mode, and the interviews were. Uh, over zoom calls or uh, webex meetings etc so this was a new experience as well so we did not get as much interaction with the interviewers as in and in person interview should happen but still it was close enough and uh, uh, we'll try to share all the possible experiences and how to go with it uh, okay so i'll start with my Uh, step by step how the procedure was for the intel interview process uh, recruitment process first of all they wanted uh, to shortlist students on the basis of their resumes only uh, one one thing that differentiates them from others is that uh, uh, they do not have any sort of written round uh, or technical tests or aptitude tests sort of thing to shortlist students for the interview Uh, but they directly collect students resume uh, they may put up a cgpa restriction on that uh, otherwise no such test is there after resume shortlisting is done uh, they select a few among from the, all the resumes um, and after the resumes are done they usually they give one or two days i think uh, we got two days of prior notice that is uh, we got to know on uh, on the weekend and we had two days to prepare and we had interviews on monday so that's a good enough time to prepare uh, yourself for the interview and uh, since this was a unique situation we have only had a single round of interview my interview was uh, roughly 40 45 minutes long it was an uh, online interaction kind of thing and where uh, no separate hr round was there actually we started off with uh, Uh, the usual like, uh, uh, what's your name? What do you want? Etc. What what profile are you interested in? And uh, interestingly, he asked me if I had given any other interviews as well, and what happened in those. So it can be very tricky to answer them as to as to what what they are what they are expecting or uh, how would they react? Because obviously. Uh, there might be many more companies that you have wanted to get recruited into get into but you couldn't have before this special actually the intel intel came so what i answered to it was quite frankly i just told them yes i had been sitting for one or two more interviews and uh, i gave my best sort of thing and uh, you i just told them frankly that uh, maybe it was their requirement issues or uh, since uh, other students are deserving as well so luck may play a important role uh, a small role and you might not get selected and that all so he seemed satisfied with that and um, then moving on uh, he asked my interest and which field i wanted to work on so i basically wanted to go in the front end design area so you have to be very clear with the concepts of front end and back end because uh, front end basically includes includes the rtl designing and logic synthesis part of the of the whole process whereas the back end deals with mainly the software aspects and uh, what all algorithms you need to optimize your design etc so a very clear flow of vlsi design was essential because they mainly recruit for uh, Uh, soc engineers and uh, validation uh, soc engineers as well as validation roles also so validation will take you to the back end while soc design and rtl synthesis is the front end part 
so once i told them about my interest that uh, i would be interested in uh, front end design they just wanted to know oh, if i am familiar with the whole flow of the design process so they asked me to briefly describe uh, all the all the processes that are involved in the whole design cycle so there are various steps involved like uh, first you have a high level design then you uh, abstraction then you have uh, a whole lot of abstraction where you go deeper and deeper into the design synthesis and as you as you go on a lower level at each after each design step so a very important thing is uh, you know timing analysis we always have to ensure that uh, that the circuit performs well within our specification so uh, specified timing so that is a very crucial uh, crucial part and most of the students what they do is while describing the flow they would say that okay i have a high level design then i move to block level design and transistor level design and they might forget that at each step we have to approximate the timing analysis so spa as we say that spa is a very important aspect that you have to every time tell them that okay after each design step we perform an spa and while performing spa you don't know the delays etc if you go into the uh, details there are bias load models and uh, various delay models that are incorporated to approximate the resistances and capacitances of the wires etc because in, uh, till now we don't have actually the physical design so you need to have some model and then models are usually stored in the software so uh, such as the wire load models and all so you need to be familiar with all those models and what are the typical uh, uh, typical equations which are used to model those delays etc Uh, a basic uh, overview of those will be helpful so for us we covered a course cad for ic design in our second semester which mainly dealt with all these thing uh, this is also part of the back end design so we got to know about various algorithms in the design process that are used in the softwares as well as various timing models etc and then uh, all the files spc left def etc file extensions and upf files and all the way to the gbs2 files so at each step uh, uh, you have different uh, models of delay analysis so my interviewer asked about that also so how do we approximate delay and all and uh, after this whole uh, physical design processing uh, he was mostly interested in asking a very long questions uh, uh, most of my interview was focused on very long only after that so that he wanted to know if i can write a, a code article code or not because uh, initially i had said i am interested in the front end design part so the thing while uh, uh, answering questions on very long is that uh, theoretically you have you might have studied a lot but uh, small details small very small details such as uh, using assignment different types of assignment operators will change your design significantly you might have intended some block but uh, uh, you might synthesize some other blocks just because you use the wrong operators so that that uh, uh, basically comes from your practical experiences so so in the i had uh, i had some practical experience in the form of architecture course where uh, various multiplier etc architect architectures had to be designed on uh, very log also my research practice was focused on uh, our processor architecture so i had quite a bit of exposure in very log and these nuances were clear with me so i was able to navigate through them properly um, he asked very subtle questions like uh, what happens if i use double equal to sign instead of a triple equal to sign or vice versa and uh, what happens to the waveform if a uh, inertial delay model is used or a transport delay model is used so if if will there be any effect on the intended design whether synchronous design is preferred or asynchronous is preferred and all sort of questions like that and uh, 
uh, he did not uh, explicitly made me write any codes but uh, whenever i gave any answers such as uh, uh, he what he asked about the assignment operator blocking and non blocking assignment so whenever he asked a question he told me to justify it with an example example for example what what will be synthesized when i used a, a non blocking assignment and what will happen if i use a blocking assignment so uh, as you model different designs and uh, go on with your project it will become more clear although a lot of resources on internet and intel's own video on uh, very log and vhdl are available on youtube which will help so you can watch those and uh, Uh, and of course while you design your own projects that you can easily memorize all the concepts because you have been directly working on them um so okay regarding the preparation sources uh, since my interview was focused on design flow and very lot so i will be telling you resources for that which i used uh, one was uh, udemy course on physical design flow it was i think by and uh, kunal ghosh uh, is the instructor's name and these courses are available on udemy and he has quite well explained all the process flows and uh, various uh, small nuances that you need to keep in check for a good design so that comprehensively covers most of the almost everything almost everything that is required in the physical design flow it even covers the clock clock trace synthesis and uh, its analysis as well so that would be helpful because uh, as you know clock nets are the essential part and uh, the uh, even though i was not asked uh, it's a very important concept and most of the times it is asked about uh, clock tree synthesis and uh, timing optimization etc so that uh, udemy course by kunal ghosh covered it all very well so you can look into that and moving on to the very log part uh, a book uh, by j bhaskar for vhdl and uh, uh, samir palnetkar for very log these are two standard books actually recommended everywhere and uh, it is also present online in the pdf format also so you can look into it uh, theory is quite well covered and uh, uh, code examples are also given which will uh, clear your doubt and i recommend that whatever code examples are given in the book you want to try it out in your own model sim or icarus i very log software etc so that uh, you know what design changes are happening and uh, you commit them to the memory and apart from them but that as i already told most of the syntaxes and uh, use cases of various commands were uh, quite well covered in intel videos uh, when you search on youtube uh they have uh, hour and a half long sessions both on very log as well as vhdl so you can look into that uh, 